Hello guys, uh, welcome to this video. I'm looking at the WASC uh, Computer Studies Practicals 2023. Uh, but this time around, I'm looking at the number three question. Number one and two questions have already been treated. I will leave I will leave the link to them in the description. And then mind you, I'll also leave a link to this um, you know the question paper in the in the description below also. Okay, so let's begin. <clears throat> Uh, let me just uh, get this highlighter. Uh, hope I get it right. So the question says, using any graphic application package, draw the object shown in Figure Two with any dimension of your choice. Okay, so this um, this object here. Okay. Uh, the, so the the A question says, fill the spaces F and G with two different colors of your choice. Okay. So first of all, let's go and create this object. Now, my Corel Draw had already been loaded because it takes a while to do so. So I had to load it um, initially. So now, I know, let me use a, a portrait orientation here. And uh, let me just uh, increase my canvas a bit. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay. So let me draw uh, using the ellipse tool. Let me just uh, hold on my control key to get a perfect circle let me make it as big as uh, possible and then okay let me let me click p to get it to the middle should i increase that a little bit let me increase it let me hold on my uh, shift key to increase it symmetrically something like this and then um, i want to uh, as it's selected copy ctrl c ctrl v i want to reduce it uh, should i hold on Sh okay shift key yeah shift key Put on your shift key and then you resize right so i will do ctrl c ctrl v again and then put down shift key again resize a little further so let me leave it like this right um okay so the question says let, let's see again the question says that we should fill the spaces f and g with two different colors of, of your choice okay um let's see so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the two point, the two point uh, line tool here. I want to click. Let me determine where my quadrant is. It's right there. So I'll click. Let me hold down my shift key to make to have a perfect line. I'll make sure that it cuts across all the lines. Let me hold down shift key again to adjust this one just to make sure it cuts across the circle. Now I will use the this uh, virtual segment as uh, delete to delete the lines i don't want uh let me just delete this one delete here but i want this other one to remain so i will have something like this to be able to use a smart field okay so um the next thing i want to do is to use the the smart field so go here click on this um, interactive field and then of course select the smart field now you can choose the color that you want here so let me choose maybe a little bit lighter color since um, to be able to you know not be, I don't want deep colors actually so I'm gonna click here and then choose another color let me have something like a yellow somewhere around there something like this eh, I'll just use it like that and then I have this like this okay so we've been able to make a shape a color shape from a particular shape so what I what I'll do here um let me click on the pick two. Am I selecting that pick two? So I'm just I'm just gonna uh, select this object because they're already different object by virtue of the line. So I'm going to uh, hold down my shift key, select this, and then select this inner circle here also, and then shift them a bit to the side, and then delete this other uh, um, shapes that I use to create this colored one. Okay. So I'm just gonna like get it off and then select everything and then move it to a desired position. So this is what I need, right? Okay, so so we've done that. So we've done the number one, the A part of the question. So let's see what the rest of the question uh, says. So type in your name in space F. So up here, okay? So, um, so let's use the text tool. Let's type our name. Let me type my name outside here. So let me let me write in capital letter Ichuku. Anolefu is my name. Ikechuku Anolefu. Uh, let me increase the font a bit. 
let me increase the font to something like let's say 36 eh, 48 let me, let me make it 36 and then i want to use uh the text so as the text is selected you want to go to the tab here and then click on uh, text from uh, text you want to find the fit uh, text to path so i will let me see i'll select this and then click right there so of course it's um it's kind of uh you know i don't know uh, upside down so let me use this to control it control this okay good I, li I like what i'm seeing so i think this is okay so i have my name right there right okay so the next one is uh, let's see let's see what the, the next question says so the next question which is the c part let me highlight the ones i've done so the b part done so the c part now type in your index number in the space g so which is, which is down there so let me go do the same thing use the same method uh click outside so let me assume that my 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 uh, my read number or my index number is ng uh, space uh, let's see one two three four five six something like this okay so i'm going to select it again let me just give you the same uh, font size which is 36 uh, let me give let me give a space here also just to make it look good okay is it, is it that cool that leaves okay let me just leave space here oops what did i do space right here mm, let me leave it like that let me put space also here mm, okay so the font is 36 so i'm going to use that same method uh, what am i doing okay so let me just click on that um uh, text you want to go to uh, text and then fit text to path i want to do it right here uh, let me do let me do it right here this is what i need and then click right there okay um so i need to adjust it a bit to come to to come to the middle are you going to come to the middle so let me just uh increase here oh no i want it to the middle so let me use this one to move it to the side uh okay okay good stuff so i think i like what i see so i'll leave it like that but it's not perfectly it's not perfectly placed in the middle actually though i'm not lying so let me let me keep adjusting let me adjust again uh let me adjust oh no you're going to the other side uh okay so let me repeat that let me let me just try to repeat that let me just try to re repeat that because i know why so ng one two three four five six um and then uh, have uh, the font size to 36 then use test to path text and then fit test to path and then let me just make it uh, zero here let me just keep it here and then i'm gonna flip it so let me just flip it up, up like okay, no. okay let me just flip it the other way okay so it's better like this okay so you can give me something that is at the middle something like that so it, you know there's no there's no way there's no um there's several ways you can get this achieved okay so there are several ways you can do this so whichever one you choose is fine all right now so this one is done um so i'm going to uh, shade out this c part so the d fill the inner circle with any picture of your choice so i'm going to um import a picture so i'm going to use the import um import uh, icon here so but if you can't find it because depending on the version you're using i'm using 2022 you can go to file and then go to import here so i'm going to import a picture let me go to my desktop where's the picture where, where are you where are you where are you so i think let me use this picture so i'm going to import that picture right there and then uh, let me have it here okay so this is my humble self actually <clears throat> all right so i want to have the picture uh, at the middle so i'm going to use um, a method called a power clip so i'm going to right click on the picture you want to go to power clip inside you want to select it so you want to go exactly where you want it to be and then click right there so the picture will go in there okay 
Now, depending on the version you're using, you can right click and then go to edit power clip. But already this is showing me uh, the edit key, edit uh, button here. So I'm going to just click on it to edit. So I want my head to come down a bit. Uh, and then we shape this to be a bit, a bit smaller to make sense. Uh, you don't want it to cut across your line. Something like this. Uh, should I bring it up a little? I think it's perfect the way it is actually. But let me just move it a little up. And then finish my... Or you can right click and then finish. But let me just click on finish here. Okay. So I think I have something that makes sense here. Alright. Let me see. So what's the next... Okay. So we fill the, the circle with any picture of our choice. Which I choose my humble self. So the E says save your work with your index number in the folder uh, created on the desktop. Okay. So normally you're supposed to create a folder in the desktop right so let me go to file and then save or save as depending if you've saved before it's always good to save before actually so i'm going to save it in in here so i'm going to call it uh, in my index number which is ng one two three four five six so i'm going to click on save that done okay so i'm going to just uh, shade this one out so the last one which is the f is print your work and submit to the supervisor so let's see how our printout will look like so let me go to file and then um let me go to file and then print let me do print preview first of all print preview and then see how i work i don't know why this thing is like this actually let me even check it again let me check it again and see uh, let me see. Oh, sorry. Let me. Oh, what am I doing? So my name, Kechukun. I don't know whether I wrote something else. Okay, so I think it's cool now. So I'll just go to file and then I'll go to print preview, and then see that everything is showing pretty well. So this is what you're going to print. So you can go ahead to click on print right here, or you can go to file and then print your work. Okay. So I think that's about it. Uh, thank you so much for watching the, this video and then I'll see you in the next one. Bye.